welcome back to Supernova Traveler. We are continuing our review of Married at First Sight, Season 11, Episode 8. You can get out of this. Couples are getting back into the swing of normal everyday life. Paradise is far behind them, so let's meet their family and friends. We open the scene with Olivia and Brett. Olivia is having brunch with her girlfriend and Brett goes out with his guy friend to the bar. And the topic of conversations is finances. Olivia tells her friend she works hard and should buy whatever she wants, while Brett explains that Olivia makes immensely more money than him and admits her spinning habits are a red flag. Look, Brett is butthurt that a woman he is married to makes more than he. And it is so rude and petty to accuse her of having poor spending habits because she is a single person and has the money to spend and she wants to enjoy the life her hard-earned coins can give her. Apparently, Brett lives by a budget and is planning for his future. He just doesn't feel his wife is doing the same. Money that she can just do whatever. Exactly. Yeah. She agreed to sit down and actually do it, and we'll and I'll work her through the profile of how you actually put a budget together. You know, I've got several spreadsheets perfect for her. Um, <laughs> <laughs> of course. I try to account for like every dollar. Part of the um, contention is she wants to do a lot of play things with her uh -huh. lifestyle. Uh -huh. um, and there's definitely going to have to be times where if we're going on a trip or anything, look, we can't stay at the really nice place. I can't afford that. We're going to have to go to like the two-star, three-star hotel. We can't go to the five-star hotel. And that's what she's used to. We'll see. You can't expect for somebody to say, I'm going to go from all these five-star accommodations to one-star accommodations. It's never going to happen. It's always going to be an issue. And she is not going to care that you cannot afford it. She's going to pay for it. So it's just a matter of you understanding that you have to compromise. Your wife makes more than you. She likes nicer things. Come to grips with it. What's really more important? Woody is telling the whole hearted truth in that moment. So to ease everyone's concerns, Brett and Olivia sit down and they go over the budget and so after the budget is reviewed Brett admits Olivia has a grasp on her budget but it's haphazard and can be tightened up people he is just jealous because she can do more and doesn't have to be as rigid as her personality by the way I was just joking about the sugar daddy comments so don't get offended we got like I don't know, 15, 20 minutes to kill. Do you want to sit down and like do a little bit of budgeting while we wait for the food to finish cooking? Yeah, we can absolutely do that. It's healthy in any relationship to talk about budgeting and a notion that I make all this money and don't know what to do with it, and that bothers me. It would be beneficial if he sat down and we went through his budget and my budget and actually saw where our money's intertwined and what we could do to better our situation. I feel like uh, Olivia has a pretty good grasp on her financials, but it's very haphazard the way she, her approach is. There's so many places that you can just tighten up a little bit. And that's all I'm trying to get her to do is just show her that there just needs to be thought before you spend. You can look at things like, if I went out to eat once less a month, you know, I could pay an extra, you know, hundred to my principal every month if I own a house or like, you know, meal prepping at home instead of eating out, I save 350 bucks a month. I know. Don't be cocky. No, um, what? Mm -hmm. Who's cocky? My out to eat budget can turn into like entertainment fun budget for us. Like it doesn't have to be like expensive things to do, even if it's just like going to the zoo for the day or the zoo is cheap. All right, we can do that. Put it in the budget. Right. No matter how much budgeting you do, Olivia is going to spend that money. So Olivia and Brett's friends come over, and I want you all to know that Starfish is not just laying there, it's another name for 69. Don't take sex advice from Rachel. So Olivia takes her cousin aside while at the housewarming party, and she again starts to talk about finances. Her and Brett literally just had this conversation. But she's already complaining to someone else about how she doesn't feel she's going to be able to live the lifestyle that she did previously. And honestly, I don't think they're a good match. Because Olivia likes to go out and Brett's more of a beer drinking homebody. And that is really hard to change in a man. 
Some men is not even about finances. They really just like being in the house. Yes! So now we're moving on to one of my favorite couples, Amelia and Bennett. And in their segment, they meet up with some friends. And of course, they have nothing but positive things to say to each other or about each other. And guess what? She might not even be staying in New Orleans. Oh. Because like, she, she's applying for residencies and she's going to find out in like two and a half weeks. Wow. Do you feel like the idea of her living in another city has a bearing on what you'll decide to do at the end? I, I'm open to the idea of following her somewhere. Amelia and Bennett are in it to win it. But it looks like Bennett's friends are trying to ruin the momentum. Of course, our perfect couple has a housewarming party and they have to be different as always because they are creative. And it's just right up their alley and suits them to the T. Do you need me to hold it tight? All right. Oh. Okay. E oh. Okay. Ah. Tonight, Bennett and I are having a housewarming party. We are going to paint a mural. We don't really know yet what it's going to look like or how it's going to be structured, but we kind of want all our friends to contribute something. So we have a bunch of paints and pom-poms and googly eyes. Get your own colors and glitter and googly eyes. Oh, is this the Mississippi? Oh my gosh, wow. Maybe everyone could get a section to talk about Amelia or Bennett, what they mean to them, what their future is. Perfect. <laughs> if they divorce, they deserve a freaking Emmy, an Oscar, and whatever acting award is out there. Because nothing up to this point and possibly after could make me think that these two do not wind up together. Hello. Hey. He's really cool. You think so? Yeah, he's great. Just went and had a chat with him. He's great. Louis is like my best guy friend and it's so much to focus on just figuring out how to be married to a stranger. And it's a huge relief that the people that are close to me in my life have been supportive. Thank you for watching my review. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel.